Hey, welcome back to Linda Cubed again. Again. So in the last two episodes, we managed to get the vast majority of the creatures in the Western continent, minus all the storyline-related ones. Uh, but on the way out of the Dungeon of Irma, where we were just in, we did manage to run into some sunfish, which we do need. And we found them right here. So in case you need to find them, you can check this pond here if you just kind of wait around. Oh my heavens, there's... School of sunfish here, look at them all. But yeah, as you can see, they have a lot of hit points. So when we trade them in, we'll get a lot of hit points. Or, well, I say a lot, but we'll probably get like six hit points. But now I'm wondering, like, if we make these into weapons, if that's beneficial or not. Like, they might make good armor, I don't know. I never really checked. These enemies have always been more of an afterthought. Oh, what are we gonna get rid of? Ah, we can get rid of the weasel. Weasel while we work. Okay, so we do have a lady sunfish here now that's... Gotta try to get them in the ark. So we'll transform back into Eagle Man. Then after this, what did I want to do? There was some other stuff to do that we require doing. Oh, it missed the bum rush attack. Okay, good, but we did knock out the Lady Sunfish. So we can collect up a few more sunfish and see if they make any good armor or not. Because if they do, it uh, might be worth... Well, I mean, it'll be worth grinding them. There's so many right here anyway. Oh, it was- I wanted to get the otters out here, because I'm under the impression that the otter enemy- <coughs> They are also in this area, I totally forgot about them. I'm under the impression that if you wait long enough, uh, that they become extinct. I'm not sure when, so let's just get them as soon as we can. Fortunately, they'll just be outside somewhere in this general area. Or, you know, that's where they're indigenous to. I've never seen otters anywhere else other than the southern part of the west continent here. Our dogs are kind of having a bit of a rough go here. Hope we didn't bark up the wrong tree. <clears throat> Excuse me. See, so yeah, I'll get some otters, we'll put them on the ark, and then we can also check the Nibul cavity to see if there's any auctions going on. We'll check that. If there aren't any, I'll just not show you, because it's like, why well, you bother? Uh, but I'm sure we can check out how our eggs are doing, because we did deposit eight tiny eggs at the incubator in Ozport, so we should see how those are doing. Because they, they can dr We did get a female giblet the other time. I do also... I want to try to get some maggots, so... Anyways, I'm gonna cut somewhere and you'll... I'll meet you there. Yeah, level 26. Ooh, and the trapper tech. So now we can lay a trap somewhere, and you can just leave it there for a season, come back, you'll have caught something. Alright, there we go, we got some otters. We also had to revive our pupper, they were knocked out, I didn't even notice. We do have some otters here, so let's... this otter do it. For the creatures in the south side, I think that's everything in this portion. Uh, what am I gonna use? We're kinda overpowered here. How's Sonic Wave gonna do? That might be alright. Oh, we're surrounded. Okay, good, puppers. Oh, we got one. Alright, great. And then if I do a Sonic Wave again, we should get one of the ladies. There, we collected eight mammaries for the Ark, for the otter's sake. Alright. Uh, what are we throwing away? Throw it away, throw it away now. Okay, before we deposit anything into the Ark, I want to make a sunfish family, so let's do that. Drop off. Drop off sunfish. Let's do it. Yeah, 4,800, not bad. I noticed that the hat... <coughs> excuse me, that the hat's not bad for the sunfish. We continue with our care. Uh, yes. Is it time to get our uh, stingfish back? Uh, no. No, it's not. Alright, I will see ya! Look at this TCU. There's more yellow in here than in a kiddie pool. So what else are we gonna do? So once we get done this, we're gonna take a trip up to Ozport. Because not to mention, we can put in the rest of the big eggs into the incubator. Then we can see our egg yield for the tiny eggs. See what we got from that. Hopefully we got some unique monsters. I'm hoping for a maggot family. 
Because I don't believe... Like, maybe you could still get the maggots. Because, <clears throat> like... I, I don't want to, like, spoil it too early, but, like, the maggots are one of the harder enemies to find, like, in the wild. I think the game sort of expects you to just get them from eggs. So that's what we're gonna do. There's also another, like, really rare monster later. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but... Where it seems like there's only, like, the one really unique way to get it. It's arguably the hardest monster family to find. But, like, anything I read online about it seems to indicate that that is the only way to get them, but I'm wondering if there's some other really hidden way that we can find them. Because there's some creatures later that they, uh, they hide as humans. And I know that there's, like, human opponents in this game. So I can't help but wonder if, like, perhaps it's, like, ex extraordinarily rare, but, like, if you fight one of them, maybe in the right, uh, season, on the right day, in the right year, maybe they're just, uh, pretending to be humans, those creatures. That's probably not the case, but I'm wondering about a lot of this hypothetical stuff. Similar to, like, the octopus, so they have that ability full body gall, but it can eat any of your pets. I'm super curious if you take them to the Ripper, if fast enough, if you bring them back to the Ripper fast enough, if you can actually get your dog back. I doubt it, but I don't know, I don't really want to find out. But if I happen to find out, I mean, I'll pass on that knowledge. There, we're all, uh, we're all statted up here. So let's go ahead, so we want to go to Ozport, we'll just run on over there. I could edit us there, but let's run instead. Let's run as fast as our little legs can carry us. And we need 30 animal species, we've... I'm confident we've gotten that already. If not, we're like, one away. I think we were like, six away last episode. And we just deposited probably like a good, like, seven or eight... ...animals, uh, families right then and there. So in the spring, the egg guy's there. Alright. Egg dispensary. Moment of truth. Tiny egg. There, male maggot right there. Now if we can find a lady maggot. Another male maggot. Giblet, which we have. We can also get leeches. Oh, that one didn't make it. Giblet. Pick up. Last but not least, three boy maggots. I didn't expect the Pick up. Can I pick up a big uh, turtle egg yet? Yeah, we can. So yeah, let's just deposit more big eggs and get more turtles for later. Then try to remember to come back here in the spring for even more eggs. I'd like to find a mate for that maggot. So we did that. Yeah, let's go talk to the voicemail now, because we did get a voicemail. Probably telling us what we're supposed to be doing. Voicemail. For... yes, listen. Yeah, so Pan... oh, it's Panheim times two. Greetings, this is Green Pharmaceuticals, Head of Development, Panheim. Miss Elizabeth, ooh, Miss Elizabeth. Macho Man's Miss Elizabeth. Expressly asked that I call you. Hope you're taking notes. Head northwest past the ghost village, Koshikata. Yeah, to a peninsula inhabited by goats. Yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier. We need the goat meat. I think we need four. Area's flooded with goats. I want you to hunt a few down and process the meat. We can do that. We have the ability ourselves. Key ingredient to Memorin Z is fresh goat filet. That's proprietary info, mind you. Oh, there is, um... There's another enemy I didn't get. There's a few enemies I didn't get in the west area now that I think about it. Because the middle area was winter. We didn't run into hippos. We didn't run into... Uh, something else I'm forgetting. Greetings, this is Panheim again from Green Pharmaceuticals. Something I failed to warn you about. Oh no, what's that? The goats that live in snowy habitats. I didn't notice that. <clears throat> the snowy goats are stronger goats. I never really questioned how much stronger some enemies were in certain uh, climates or whatever. So we do have, we should have four goats in here. Uh, yeah, four right there. Exactly the number we need. So let's just fly back to uh, Eterna. And process those goats into meat. Good old goat meat medicine. 
I've had medicine that tastes better than goat meat, I'll tell you that. Alright, so let's... Camp. Camp. Butch. We gotta butch some. Butch four goats? There. We did it, we made an extra spot in our bestiary, that's lovely. That's the best news that I've heard all s I keep wanting to call these streams because I've been streaming for so long. But I am not live right now, this is a pre-recorded video. Well, I mean I am live right now, but like, not... I mean I would be even when you're watching this video, probably. But you know what I mean. If you don't, I'm not going to explain it further. Merry Xmas. You're here to see President Green. Yeah, I am. See, I'm flashing yellow because I'm injured. Come on in. Yeah, somehow I missed my other pupper getting knocked out in that fight. Welcome, Mr. Challenger. How can I help you today? I have the stuff you need. What's Merry Xmas? Well, for generations, my family had always adored Xmas. That's why my employees dress as Jolly Santa Claus all year round. That's... that's why. Is there anything else? I thought you were gonna give me more of a... a story. Why all the Santas? I believe the real Santa Claus is out there. I don't think I ran into him in this game. My little Santa Claus always brings me the best presents. You don't say. Tell me more. Do elaborate. I'm sure he'd love to give... I'm sure he'd love to give presents to a good boy like you. I... I'm a good boy. You're a bad judge of character. Panheim, save the nails on the right for later. You can come out. Oh my goodness. See, uh... Scratching her feet, do you suppose? You rang, Miss Elizabeth? Oh, are those the meats? You're faster than I expected. That's what she said? Is that what Mrs. Green said? Ken gave Prof Panheim the goat fillets. I'll contact you as soon as I complete the serum. Easy as that. Easy as ABC. By the time you visit Linda and come back, the serum should be complete. That is something that annoys me about this game, how, like, I have to listen to the dialogue be read before I can forward any of the text. Like, I mean, it's fine the first time you play it, I don't mind so much, but, like, after I play it, it's like, okay, I read it, now I'm gonna sit here and let you speak in Japanese. If you tell me, I might write off the final cost of the serum. That's a steal. You're a young man, so is it... that? Uh, yeah, sure, it's that. Eh, oh, to be young. What I wouldn't give for that feeling. We talk, are we talking about, like, little blue pills, Dr. Panha? Contact as soon as the serum's available. Great. So what did I say we still needed? We do need a sea lion in North Tortagos. We could try to find them. Yeah, surely have animals and or girls to chase in the meantime. <coughs> we could go visit Linda again. Let's do that. Alright, Linda, do you have anything to say? Once the member Z, yeah, we'll treat Linda first thing. How you doing, Linda? You're out of the bed, that's a good sign. Hello again, I heard I'll be discharged soon. Oh no, discharge. If you have discharge, you should probably stay in the hospital. I was wondering. Even if my memory doesn't come back, would you? I would love to. Oh, still take you on the asteroid? Well, yeah, I would also do that. Since you asked so nicely. Absolutely. Oh, I'm so happy. So happy. Even if my memories never come back, I can't be angry at God now. Can't or won't. I'm so lucky. Even with amnesia, Linda's just... ever the optimist. Once I'm out of the hospital, let's go on a date to celebrate. Can't be late. Looks like the babies in here are doing, like, snow angels. You can't talk to them, though. Uh, is it in here? I kind of glossed... I didn't even gloss over this. I didn't even show you this yet. I can find it. Where's the basement at in here? There is one. Where is it? Might be over here. Yeah, down this way. Check the basement. Yeah, we got we got the morgue. Cadavers used to be stolen all the time before the late Dr. Omori developed organ cloning. Thefts have declined since, but young female Bishan cadavers remain popular targets. 
So yeah, that's uh, what I presume this is. Naked female corpse lies here. Well, doesn't look like she's going anywhere. Rico tab 10. That's actually not bad. Fine. And a detox pill, which is for just for stats in general. I don't think this game really breaks down status ailments. Like, just like a catch-all, everything's a panacea. So, I also wanted to go to Ozport. Or, not Ozport, I wanted to go to the Nibul cavity. Which means that we gotta kinda... You know, hang a right at Ozport. We'll just... Okay, I'll either meet you at the Nibul cavity if there's an auction, or I'll just meet you somewhere else if there isn't. Hey, got a new voicemail. That's probably Panheim being like, your goat medicine is ready. I remembered the enemy that I keep forgetting about, because it's the hyena. I'm waiting for this pig Frank to go rotten, <clears throat> so it'll draw their attention. I only actually needed one goat filet, I thought it was four for some reason. Well, how much does goat filet heal for? 64, average recovery? Like, that's not horrible. Not to mention, uh, we have that ability for Ken now, where he can eat anything and not get sick from it. Very handy. Do we have an auction? We do. Let's see what we can buy. We got 23,000. We probably have more than that if we go to our bank. And if we further just sell off stuff like our nine earthworms. Let's, uh, let's money up here. So, let's see. Withdraw. Yeah, 5,800? That's good. Do I have any equipment to sell? Oh, I can't. I, I don't even think I brought this up again, but... Yeah, I totally didn't replace the worn shoes that the octopus made. Destroyed my shoes. You can't even sell them, so just throw them on the ground. I'm an adult. Where are they? I just... Come on, eyes. There we go. Trash. You can also trash the wilted flower. Oh, that'll be fun. No. Uh, what I want to do now, though, is sort... There we have it. Oh, and we also have this bullion we should sell. Uh, sell bullion for 12,000. Then, yeah, some monsters. Yeah, what do you have for sale? There's usually some pretty, uh, there's usually pterodons for sale here. Maybe that's more for other, uh, like, scenarios. See. So let's go ahead and sell our earthworms, because we don't, we're not going to make another earthworm whip. What about the ducks? Yeah, they we should just process them into meat. Uh, I don't know, that's- a lot of this isn't really- How much do the sunfish sell for? Those are pricey. What kind of weapon can we make out of the sunfish? I won't use it, because I like my eagle sword. Let's look. Uh, make. Yeah. I mean, 21- yeah, sunfish paddle, 21 attack more than our current equipment. No, we'll just go ahead and- yeah, we'll sell the rest of these sunfish here. We did trade in the sunfish family, so we'll be... And then we got the sunfish lady left over here. We got one. We'll hold on to her. She can just stay in the TC. So there, that's, you know, 51,000. We can maybe snag one rare critter from the auction. If not, you'll get to see some other funky monster designs here. Worst case scenario. But this guy here, hoping to get the net the rumored male anglerfish ticket this time around. So in scenario C, male anglerfish, I don't know if they ever actually can appear in the wild. I have a funny feeling that they can, but they're just incredibly rare or something. This is speculation, I can't prove them. But you can find them here. And another thing about anglerfish, I'm just gonna say this now, that if you process an anglerfish into meat, it doesn't seem to go bad. Like, I did a playthrough before where I had anglerfish meat, and I had it in my inventory for years, and it stayed good, so... And it heals for a hundred, so it's something to think about if you have a lot of anglerfish. Yeah, let's join the auction house. What do we got? Ooh, Daphnia. These are pretty cheap. Let's get them. Seven female Daphnia. Yeah, 1300. Yeah, those are coming with us. These are the rare enemies that are in uh, Caragolem. The Caragolem cave. Ah, uh, but if you can just get them here, uh, dirt cheap. Like 2,000 some odd for seven. That's a steal. Bison probably can't afford them. Eh, 5,600, that's up. Let's try for it. I won't 
items. I won't spend more than 20 grand on them. If we get priced out, uh, 20 grand. Make it 15. Someone outbids, they can have it. Alright, it's your CNG Corp. GG. I don't need two bisons that badly. Ooh, we're getting into a bidding war. I guess it's just as well that I decide to sit out. Because what if something else... Oh, that was it? Well... You never know. But hey, we did get some of the Daphneas. That's alright. So let's go... Uh, somewhere else. 